just as the outside of our ear changes as we get older, the way we hear sound changes too. This is the sound of the New York subway heard by a young person. But to an older person, it would instead sound something like this. It's easy to make a sound. All you have to do is make something vibrate. You could twang a string or a rubber band. Or you could blow down something. Or you could bang something together. Or you could scrape something. Or you could shake something. There are three families of musical instruments. This is one of them, strings. As you can see in this guitar, when you pluck the string, it vibrates. That vibration gets passed onto the air, and that's how you hear the sound. And here's another stringed instrument from India called a gopichan. The second family we're going to look at is wind instruments. These work by blowing into a tube and making the air inside vibrate. Listen to these panpipes. You can do the same thing with a horn. This instrument's called a balafon. It belongs to the last family of instruments called percussion. These produce vibrations when you bang them, and you can do exactly the same thing with a pair of bongos. Look at this clock. When the bell rings, we can see it as well as hear it. We're close to it, so the sound is quite loud. We can hear the sound the bell makes all the way around the clock. But as we move further away from the clock, the sound of the alarm gets quieter. So how far away we are from a sound will affect how loud it seems to us. Question for you. What do some old gas pipes, a ping pong bat, a shopping trolley, and a kitchen sink have in common? Well, believe it or not, they can all be made to make music. Whoa, what a racket! I've come to Plymouth, home of weapons of sound, who are a really exciting teenage band. But what makes them different is that all their instruments are made out of rubbish. The weapons of sound have been going for a couple of years now and they're doing really well, playing at festivals all around Britain. They've even played at the Royal Albert Hall in London, home to some of the world's finest orchestras. I bet that was the first time the Albert Hall saw homemade instruments like these. Hello, I'm James. I play in the weapons of sound. I play the kitchen sink. I uh, originally got the sink because my mum had a new one fitted and the old one was going to be checked out, so I picked it up and had a bath. I play a variety of instruments in the junk band, but my main instrument's the um, dustbin. These are um, just your everyday just dustbins that you find in your back garden. I play the shopping trolley. It's a bit of a bizarre instrument, really, but we found it by the side of the road and um, thought it looked horrible there, so we decided to pick it up and bring it to the band and it makes an interesting cymbal sound. The old drums I play 
I've been beating into shapes so they've got different sounds. They're a bit like a steel drum in a in a like a fancy carnival, only a bit cheaper. The weapons of sound have made an art of hitting things, beating out rhythms. But rhythm isn't everything. For a full effect, you need instruments that'll give a decent tune. These are my favourite. They're called the bat phones because they're hit with a bat. They're basically long lengths of pipe cut into different lengths and they make this funny sound. What a great sound. Where did you get the pipes, Steve? We got them from the local gas board. We just went and asked for them. They were just going to be thrown away, so we put them to a good use. Weapons of Sound do a lot of recycling. Uh, we take junk that people would normally just chuck away and we make musical instruments out of it and bring lots of pleasure to lots of people. Yeah. <laughs> 